Hey guys, welcome to Simproof, Fry speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build something actually pretty easy. It's a school bus that your Sims can live in and I also decorated it as if it's on a beach for some surfer Sims if you would like to have something like that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> So this is something that I wanted to build for a very long time. I have a little build list with your wishes and suggestions, of course. And I had the school bus like on there for at least a year now. And I always knew that it was possible to build this since we have these little toy cars. It's not actually toys, they are in the sculpture section. But with the sizing up cheat, I'm just going to call it like the sizing up cheat you can make them bigger and yeah they look a little bit like a front of a school bus at least there's like one of it that looks a little bit like a kind of post truck or something postal truck and i always thought it would be really really cool especially since i'm from germany and we don't have these kinds of very yellow distinctive school buses that the americans have at least i've only seen them in american movies and they seem to be a thing over there so if some americans are watching do all your school buses look like this is this really a thing that all of them are yellow and with these blackish lines on them and stuff like this so yeah that was kind of interesting because they look so distinctive and i was also very inspired by two youtubers they are a couple and they have also a youtube channel and they have converted a an american school bus into a little caravan and i really really like this idea and i really love to watch how they did it they did like several videos how they kind of revamped the whole school bus to have like a really cool hippie-esque um caravan and i really like that idea and i thought well i really want to see if this is possible in the sims 4 as well so it turned out to be a 3 by i don't know 16 12 or something tiles big tiny house it's basically a tiny house i would say and they have everything they need in there actually so there is like a kitchen there's a bed there's also a bathroom and also outside i will decorate it and of course inside i will decorate it so heavily again because i just love all the clutter in the game and it really makes it look more lived in more cozy more detailed especially because i wanted to have like young like a young couple as well living there um that are kind of hippie surfer people <laughs> that are there on the beach and can travel with the school bus caravan all over the sim world or something so there is like a little catch to it since we don't have any surfboards or at least we don't have the skill of surfing basically your sims can only swim in pools they can't even swim like in the sea hopefully we get that maybe I really hope that we get this someday but yeah so far no activities in the sea only in pools so I decided that yeah I have to find other things that maybe look like surfboards and I could find two things actually I could find a couple of things but two things are my surfboards here so first of all I found the skateboards from the I think they are from the parenthood pack there are three of them it's like a wall mounted kind of art piece that you can place and these are skateboards so i just resize them again make them a little bit bigger so they look a little bit like tiny <laughs> surfboards and also i used two of the lamps i think these lamps came with a get to work pack but i don't want to say something wrong here it's on the left side where also the santa is with a surfboard and they kind of look like surfboards if you make them smaller so I basically took lots and lots of different things and just wanted to see if, if I make them bigger or smaller if they could look like surfboards or anything that you could use maybe in in the water kind of so at the end there will be a couple of them and somehow I also think they overdid it but I also have a little story about it so these sims live there but they also rent the surfboards and of course there are surf teachers is it called surf teacher or trainer or something and they kind of get by by giving classes to other sims or something so this is like my pretend um hippie gameplay that i wanted to do here and test it so basically the whole house or the whole build is fully tested in my opinion it's kind of an easy build of course so it's basically just a rectangular 
house with this round roof on it it's really really easy to do so if you aren't like into how I decorated it or if you want to turn this in like something else you can of course download it it's on the Sims 4 gallery under my EAID sim proof then also I will put the download link in the video description down below but yeah as I said since this is so easy you can really easily build this yourself the only thing is that you have to keep in mind to use the resize tool for this little truck thing that's also in base game. And then you have to use the move objects cheat to kind of stack it into the house, into the rectangular house to make it look a little bit more like a school bus or like a truck, something like this. And yeah, that's basically everything. I have no idea if every, anybody else has built like a school bus. I've googled it and I've looked at YouTube, but apparently nobody did. But there are a couple of them on The Sims 4 Gallery if you want to check them out. And yeah, I used a lot of the really, like in my opinion, it's like a really horrible holiday pack um, patch that we got there. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, there are different packs of course and there's a free pack that you can get if you have the original game. You simply can download this over the origin platform. It's called the Holiday Pack or something like this. And it usually has lots and lots of these little objects for free. You can add them for free to your game um, about Christmas and Hanukkah and I, I guess it was also like the Festival of Lights. And I think it was Dia de los Muertos that was also in it, or maybe that got with a patch. I, I, I have no idea. But basically you get lots and lots of different objects and if you have downloaded this pack, then it gets updated throughout the year sometimes and gets new objects for other holidays that your sims can then also celebrate, of course. And we got a little uh, like update for last year's Christmas, 2017's Christmas. And it was lots and lots of sunny, sandy, beachy Christmas decorations, like little flip-flops, fairy lights, there's a Santa with a surfboard, there's a snowman made out of sand. And yeah, it was kind of really special and when it came out, like, it's free stuff, so I really don't want to complain about it, but when we got it, I was like, where the hell should I use a sand snowman <laughs> or like a flip-flop? garland fairy light stuff what the hell <laughs> i was really confused but finally i found something where i could use these all these kinds of crazy things so yeah i used lots of the i don't know summer beachy christmas decorations i guess <laughs> but yeah i really could make them work um it was kind of interesting i always want to use every object there is in game i know that some other sim tubers and builders have like their distinctive objects that they use over and over and over again of course i have them too but i usually try to use lots and lots of different objects and so i can remind myself what kind of color swatches there are maybe they look really cute besides other objects that are like more that I use more so it kind of also is interesting to figure out what kind of fits together which didn't help me here as well so in the interior it's quite narrow but there's like a little bed and if you come in there is a kitchen from the left to the right as well so there's only a fridge and a microwave because I didn't want to put a stove there and also the kitchen doesn't have a sink since the bathroom has a sink and I thought we need all the space that we can get here so only one sink in the house and it totally works fine since yeah I've already tested this whole lot it's all working fine and I also didn't do any color coordination besides using of course a yellow from the school bus outside inside as well and the tiles wallpaper the tiled wallpaper I guess from the jungle pack I really like these tiles they remind me a little bit of the south of Spain where my parents live and where I used to live and yeah, they kind of look really, really pretty with like modern furniture. It's like a new trend that I've seen in some of the kitchen interior design. You get to use these old fancy tiles or like the, the, yeah, like the tiles that you can see here and then have like a really modern kitchen, like a white kitchen or something, which is something that I really, really like. I like the clash with old traditional stuff with modern stuff. And this is also what I wanted to do here. So since they have like modern, windows and like big glassy front. I thought it would be really cool to clash lots and lots of different things together that they may have gathered over the years on 
I don't know, different markets and all that kind of stuff. And maybe even created themselves with driftwood or something. I don't know. Like, I really wanted to experiment a little bit with all the more rustic and worn down, shabby, chic, bohemian, what else of kind of adjectives I can use here. But yeah, lots of these hippie, shabby, chic really colorful stuff that we have in the game, which we have a lot now. Like with all the packs, you have so many colorful stuff. It was actually pretty easy to find lots and lots of stuff. And I was, oh, oh, this is cool. I want to use this. Where do I put this? I have no um, space anymore inside. So that was kind of tricky. But yeah, it was lots and lots of fun to build this, of course. And I really hope that you like it. That's also basically it. That's the whole build. Like I said, the download link is in the video description down below. Please let me know in the comments what I have to build next for you guys. And yeah, I really hope that you like it. Please enjoy the video tour now and I will see you soon. Bye bye.